Good afternoon on this sunny but slightly cooler Tuesday. So I'll give it a few minutes. I've come on two minutes early. Just give, give people a chance to come on and then we'll get started. So your responsibility is to have a nice clear area to work out in, make sure there's nothing to fall over. My kids do like to leave stuff around so you know make sure I fall over. So <laughs> make sure you've got nothing that you're going to fall over, window open for ventilation, some water and a towel if you need it. So I've got another minute and minute and a bit before we get started. So it's a 40 minute workout, warm up, main workout and a cool down and stretch. Um, Hopefully, I don't know. It, I never know whether it makes a difference when you're putting that light on or not, or whether, yeah, a little bit. Because the windows are painted, not as much light gets in. So I'll give it one more minute and then we'll get started. So today we're doing 50 seconds of work. We've got a 10 seconds rest. So if you join me with, joined me this morning, it's the same timing. So 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, five exercises, and we'll go around them four times. I kept saying three times this morning, I do apologize. Four times, we'll go around four times, 20 minutes of work and then we've got our cool down hi guys hi tina hi michelle if you do comment anything i will try and say hello um i do have to come up close though this is my phone so last few seconds and then we'll start warming up <laughs> uh, no rest for the wicked those who come back again for their second workout of the day so let me get my timer started and we'll start the warm up. So if you've been with me a few times, you already know this warm up. So we're just stepping from side to side, swinging the arms backwards and forwards, different arm over the top each time. So just warming the body up, doing some of the movements that we'll be doing in the actual workout, preparing the body. Also gets any um, fluids in the joints. It's the synovial fluid in the joints producing more, so like the oil of a car, makes the movements smoother and easier, not easier to do, but just smoother. So, and then our next one, we're gonna bring our arms above our head, and stretch it through. That's it, good. There we go, keep moving. Mind any low light fittings, I always forget to say that. Forgetting to say that now, sorry. Keep going. That's it. Also stepping it at the same time. Last few seconds. And let it rest there. So then we're gonna come slightly wider than hip width. Uh, slight bend of the knee, engage the core, arms out in front, and you're just opening up the chest. Try and keep the hips facing forward as much as possible. Keep breathing. It does look very nice out there today. I can't believe how much cooler it is though. Like summer weather at the weekend and this slate just dropped. I mean, I even managed to get sunburned by that evening. <laughs> Typical of me. Normally pretty good. Keep going, last few seconds, there we go. So again, keeping the feet hip width apart, slightly wider than hip width, we're gonna twist. We're gonna walk down the leg as far as we can go. If you can touch the floor, great. If you need to walk across in the air, that's great too. Just keep the legs straight and then come back and lean back. Come down, cross the floor, walk up the other side and lean back. So you can see all the movements that we're doing are dynamic. They are movements, they're not static stretches. I save the static stretching for the end. Keep going, that's it. And come back up the other side, lean back. Last one. I would guess. We come up and we're going to face the front and into a gentle jog. Another name just popped up when it's hello. Hello Sabine. How are you? Hope you're doing well. So into that gentle jog. Slowly getting the heart rate up, warming up the body. Keep going. And we're going to do hip openers so taking facing forward open the hip out to the side and bring it back in so opening the gate and closing the gate that's it good keep 
Keep going. Keep going. That's it, nice. If you've got any music, you can put that on for yourself as well. So we'll come up for the heel flicks, the hands on your bottom, flick your heels up to tap your hand. If there are alternatives to exercises to lower the intensity, if you need that, I will endeavour to show them. Keep going. on this one nice gentle landing keep the knees soft and then we're going to go into a lunge and rotate so stepping forward rotate and push back Come forward rotate and push back that's it keep going seconds that's it and then we're going to go into a squat and reach again watching any light fitting so come back into your squat and reach up come down reach up don't go if you can't go too low in your squat don't worry just go as low as you can let us have good form Overdo it. Keep going. Last few seconds. And finally, some jumping jacks just to get the heart rate up. That last few seconds. And we'll go on to the main workout. I'll demonstrate all the exercises and then we'll get going. Keep those arms above the head and rest that there. Have a mouthful of water and I'll demonstrate the five exercises. So the first one, I call it a walk down. You might know it's an inchworm. So take your feet about twice hip width. I find it easier that way. You're going to keep the legs as straight as possible. Bend, reach your hands down to the floor. You're going to walk your body out into a high plank position. Then you're going to tap your foot up as high as you can either side and then walk it back up and then lean back a little bit and then go again then our second exercise which i will be putting the mat down and keep your knees knees feet as close to your glutes as possible so i'll come forward a little bit arms down at the sides and we're going to come up into a glute bridge and come down so we're just pushing up onto the shoulders Squeezing the glutes together, using the legs, come down and come down. So there's that one. Then we've got the side to side, I call it side to side TikTok pendulum. So I wasn't quite sure what to call it. So you're standing up straight and you're gonna tick top to each leg. So you're like the pendulum of a grandfather clock. If that's too much, just tap it out to the side and then keep your torso as straight as possible. If it's too much on the knees then our next movement we're coming into a high plank we're gonna bring our knee to our elbow knee to elbow just alternating each side if that's too much just hold the high plank if you need to come to your knees and then our last exercise gone for a tough one this lunchtime jump forward soft landing and then two squat jumps back shuffle back to where you were and so if you find it hard to do a jump and land on both legs, land on one and then come back and then go for the other one. Uh, if you need to, you can step it all out and just shuffle it back. So just, just make sure it works for you. Work at your fitness level because obviously I can't see to correct you. So let's get started. First 50 seconds, we'll be doing the walk down. Let me make sure I've got my volume up. Work for 50 yep. seconds. Off we go. So 
come down, keep the legs straight as possible, walk it out into a high plank, tap one foot, then the other. Bring it back up and come up, come down, walk it out, tap, man tap, push back. Come down, walk it out, tap, and tap. Try and remember, I'm, I'm not, but try and remember, you can alternate which foot you start Ten with. Push it back. Down there. And rest for ten. Ten seconds until work. So then our next one is the glute bridge. So we're on our back. Come down to the floor. That's it. Feet as close to, hip width apart, but as close to your bum as possible. Up onto your shoulders. Come down, push up. Don't quite touch the floor. Just tap your bum to it and then push back through. Really feel the clinch in your glutes at the top. This is working your glutes. Clue is in the main glute bridge. It's also good for your legs, your core. You can feel the burn. Push it through. Ten seconds until rest. Last few seconds. Now rest for 10, slowly come up. So we're doing our TikTok pendulum move. So keep your knees soft and off you go. So TikTok. I'm going to see how I get on because I irritated an injury at the weekend, but it seems to be okay at the moment. So just taking them out to the side like a grandfather clock pendulum. Keep breathing. Chest up. Nice soft knees. And we're into a high plank manoeuvre after this one. Keep going. Ten seconds until Last few seconds. And rest, rest for ten. Seconds. So we come into our high plank, keep bum down, wrists in line with shoulders, come up, elbow to knee, elbow to knee, knee to elbow even I think, if you do need to just hold the plank, if you want to make it a little bit harder, you can raise your leg up and come back down. And raise it up, come back down. Just keep breathing. Engage that core. Last two seconds. And rest that one there. And we are on to the jump forward, two squats back. So, a few seconds, and off you go. So, jump it forward, nice soft landing, and then you can either shuffle back or jump forward and squat it back. Do a mixture, shuffle it back. Nice soft landing, and shuffle it back. Working on those, making sure you land softly on the old knees. If you need to step it, do. That's it, good. Use up all the room you have. Nice, good, powerful motion. Strengthening those legs. And rest for 10. Then we're back to the walk down, hinge worm. Catch your breath. So I said, make sure your window's open. Come down, walk it out. 
come to here, tap one to the side, tap two to the side, come back up, lean back, come down again, and out with the opposite leg first. Push back. Halfway there. Whew, keep going. Good work. Keep those legs straight if you can. Lean back, come down. Walk it up. Tap and tap. Come up. And lean back. Rest that one there. So the next one's your glute bridge. I'm going to put this on the floor because my hair, I only dyed it again yesterday. Don't need blue. Do, don't need a blue patch on the floor. So feet near the glutes. Push up onto those shoulders. Hands by your side. Tap down. Push up. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Slowly down and power it up. Power up, slowly down. Power up, let's squeeze the glute to the top and slowly down. Keep breathing. Keep going guys. Do one. Well. Ten seconds until rest. And push through. Come down. And rest for 10. We're now into our pendulum manoeuvre. Get ready. Off you go. From side to side. Nice and gentle. Do apologise if you can hear my kids. They are upstairs. They seem to be a little bit loud today. You might not be able to hear them, but just in case. Keep going. Might have to open my other window. Get some more fresh air in here. Half two seconds. Ten seconds until rest. Keep going. Rest for ten. I'm just going to open my other window. Alright, so then we're into a high plank, knee to elbow. Off we go, wrist in line with shoulders, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. That's it, good. Keep that core engaged, keep breathing. Bum down. As I said, if it gets too much, you can just hold the plank. You can come down on an elbow plank, come down on your knees. Or if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you can do the push through with the leg as well. Two seconds. seconds. Keeping that bum down. Whoo! Nearly there. And rest for ten. Then we're on to our jump forward, shuffle back. Get ready, engage the core, nice soft landing, and then shuffle it back. Jump forward, shuffle back. Good work. Keep going. Don't land too heavy. Keep going, almost there. Tough workout. But you'll feel so much better when it's done. Ten seconds until rest. Last few seconds. And we're back to the beginning. Rest there. So Ten back to our walk down. Nice deep breaths. If you need a drink of water at any time, please do grab one. You can get straight back into it as soon as you can. 
and down, out to the side, out to the side. Push back through, keep breathing. Come down, tap and tap. Keep the feet quite wide apart, makes it easier to keep the legs straight. Tap and tap. Push back through. Using those arms, working the whole body in this one. Come down, tap and tap. And come back up. Catch your breath, hold it there, rest for 10. So next we're down in our glute bridge. Have that down there. So let's stain the carpet. Down on the floor. Off we go. Feet close to your glutes, push up and then come down slowly. Power up, through the legs, pushing the heels into the floor, tap down. Power up, clench the glutes at the top, come down. Power up and slowly down. Keep breathing. Up onto those shoulders. Push through, come down. Squeeze the glutes. Ten seconds until rest. Keep going. Push through, squeeze, come down. Push through, Good squeeze. And rest there, ten slowly come up. So I'm wondering if my head was actually on the floor. Next, we're back to the pendulum. Side to side, tick tock. Off you go. That's it, nice gentle bounce. That's it, good. Breathe it through. So these will get uploaded to the decathlon page. Button down in the right hand corner. Share away. Let other people know here at 8am every morning. Free home workout. Just keep people moving. Aimed at all levels of fitness. You've got to take it at your own level. Like this one, if you want to, you can step it out. And rest. So next, we're down into the high plank, knee to elbow. So come down in your plank, rest it along with the shoulders. Come up, bring the knee to the elbow. Knee to the elbow. Keep that bum down. Engage the core. And keep breathing. If you need to do adaptations for this one, please do. If you need to come down, you can do a elbow plank. Or you can bring your knees down. Or you can do an elbow plank on your knees as well. Or if you want to, you can bring your knee down and push through. Lots of alternatives to make it work for you. And rest for 10. So coming, we're jumping forward, shuffling back. Like I said, again with this one, you can always step it out. Off you go. Jump forward, nice soft landing, bend the knees, shuffle back. Shuffle back. Good work, guys. Do what works for you. Do grab a drink if you need it. My room's, my room's warm. So. Keep going. Push back. Last few seconds. Doing great. Tough workout. We've only got one more time round. Our uh, rest for 10. So last time on the walk downs. Whew. Good work. Hosty. Right, come down. Walk it out. 
tap and tap and push back stand up lean back come down walk it out tap tap push back pushing it through keep going keep those legs as straight as you can into the high plank position tap tap push it back come up one more doing great nice wide stance push it back through come into standing position rest it there so we're now into the glute bridge for the last time come down feet as close as possible to your glutes and push through power it up and slowly down power up clench your glutes at the top and slowly down push up come down keep going push it through clench at the top come down slowly push okay. up come down slowly nice and controlled up so you're almost up onto your shoulders come down until rest. Last few seconds. Push up and come down. Rest and rest for 10. Slowly up. Try not to give yourself a head rush. Get ready into the pendulum. And off we go. That's it. Good. Two more exercises to go. We're almost there, guys. Light at the end of the tunnel. And it's not an oncoming train. <laughs> I promise. Keep going. Nice and soft. Almost there. Afterwards, if you want to type in the comments what you think when you're doing a workout, that will go through your head. You know, I might, I might use it. Um, oh, no, 10 more seconds, sorry. Might use it in one of my posts on my Comfort for Life uh, face, um, Instagram page. And rest. You'll be completely anonymous. It'd just be fun to put together the funny thoughts people have when they're working out. Normally, like, oh my god, why am I doing this? So, into your high plank, knee to elbow. To me, this is the toughest one in the group. Engage that core. Nice controlled movements. Keep breathing. That's it. Nearly there with this one. If you want to push through, you can. Just come back to the high plank before you go into the next maneuver don't sink your back too low keep it controlled rest and rest for 10 we're in the jump forward shuffle back for the last time nearly there off we go jump forward soft knees shuffle it back shuffle back Use your arms to help you get forward. This is a good power building one. So as we get older, we'll still be able to get out of the sofa, which is always a good thing. So good for the core strength, good for the balance, good for power. Last few seconds. Good for cardio. And rest it there, guys. Whew. Dump yourself, dab yourself off. Have a mouthful of water. Slowly walk around for a second. Just let your heart rate come back down a little bit. So, 
Today I'm putting a mat down, as I said, freshly dyed hair, and it's blue. Never good on the carpet. <laughs> so come down on your back, push the small of your back into the floor, and bring your knees into your chest. <sighs> ah, good work. And rock, roll in one direction, and then roll in the other. You're stretching out the hips and the lower back. <sighs> Keep breathing, bring the heart rate down slowly. That was a tough lunchtime workout. Well done, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Now it's over, I'm sure you did. <laughs> bring it round. And let one leg drop to the floor, oh, a little bit too close to my wall there. And raise the other leg into the air, stretching out the back of the thigh. Try and keep the leg as straight as possible and bring it back towards you, stretching out this muscle. When you feel the stretch release, let your leg go a little bit and then bring it a little bit further back. If you have a towel or on the long resistance band, you can always use that to pull your foot few more seconds, catch your breath, and switch legs, so bring the other leg into the air, and pull it towards you, let the other one just drop to the floor, keep the knees as straight as possible, some of you might have tight hamstrings, makes this one a bit more difficult, just keep working at it, get it to the point it feels good for you, the stretch. Few more seconds. And then it back. And let that relax. So what you're gonna do now, if you've not been with me before, is you're gonna bring your ankle up onto your opposite knee, reach through and pull on the thigh. And what you can also do then is put your elbow into the other knee or use your hand to push the other knee back as you pull your other leg towards you. And you'll feel the stretch right down in the glutes. So for me, I'll be feel, I'm feeling it in my left glute because it's my left leg bent in front of me. A few more seconds. And switch legs, keep breathing. Relax the shoulders. Release the tension from your jaw. Well done. Good workout, keep stretching. Last few seconds. Sorry, the weird noise is in my fridge. <laughs> keep going. And let that relax, we come round onto all fours. So knees in line with hips and your wrists are in line with your shoulders. And we're gonna Breathe in, arch the back up, and lower the back down as you breathe out. And do that at your own speed. As you come down, really feel those shoulder blades pull together. And push away as you push up. relax there what we're going to do then is bring your toes together sitting back on your heels uh, you can have your knees hip width or you can have them together whichever you find more comfortable bring your arms out in front of you drop your head down to the floor and we're doing child's pose so pulling the arms forward pulling the body back really getting the stretch in the shoulders and the upper shoulders and the upper back Quite a nice one if you've been sat at a desk. Good stretch for the ankles too. And let that relax. Slowly come up into a standing position. So onto your feet, roll through your spine into the standing position. And you're gonna come over, find a bit of wall. Hopefully I've got you further enough back so you can see my feet. 
So foot against the wall, keep your legs hip width apart, and then you're gonna push upwards, keeping that front leg straight and you'll feel the stretch in your calf. Nice straight back on the tippy toe of the back foot. Still engage the core, still keep breathing. Stretch it through. That's it, good. A few more seconds. Keep breathing. And switch legs. Come up. Pushing it through. Last few seconds, keep that going. A couple more stretches from this one. Because to me, stretching is, is just as important as the main workout. It will help uh, stop your muscles cramping up. It will aid re recovery. Generally, it just feels pretty damn good. And um, hopefully it will reduce the chances of DOMS, which is the delayed onset muscle soreness. Or if you do get it, it won't be as bad. That's the hope anyway. So let that one relax. I'll bring you back over here. So what we're gonna do now, bring one foot up to your glute, knees together, hips pushed forward, stretching out the front of the thigh, the quadriceps, or quads as we call them, or if most people say front of the thigh, stretching it through. So really push your hand, I always say that, push your foot into your hand as well so you're resisting against it as you're putting your leg back then you feel more of the um, stretch through the front of the thigh. And switch legs, bring your other one up, knees together, push the hips forward, push your foot into your hand, stretching it through, keep breathing. So if any of you are gonna join me tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., which I hope you will, you'll need to bring some cans with you, it can be baked beans, can be souped, uh, souped, soup, I have boiled potatoes, it's a slightly bigger can, um, you can also bring, um, if you've got light dumbbells, nothing more than three kilos, um, I would say. Or you can have bottles of water, whatever, as long as it's two things that are the same weight. So come up into a nice full body stretch, lean to one side, come up to the middle, and lean to the other side. So we do a strength weights workout called AMRAP, as many rounds as possible on a Wednesday. Lean to the other side up lean to that side stretching it through one more time on this side stretching down the side the obliques and up and to the other side come back to the middle drop one arm between shoulder blades chin off the chest head up stretching out the triceps keep breathing slowly your heart rate should should have come back to normal <sighs> nearly there three more stretches and you're done and hopefully feeling good for the rest of your day especially if you know we may have indulged in a few easter eggs over the last few days and i'm still eating my chocolate <laughs> and switch sides pulling the arm across stretching it out Definitely warm now, looking forward to a shower. Well done, great work. If there's any questions or queries that you may have, just leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to come back to you. If you wanna follow me, I'm on Instagram as Become Fit For Life. I'm also on here as Become Fit For Life. That's tagged in the top. Let that relax, bring one arm across the body. If you're interested in working with me, just let me know. I am able to virtually PT people, like I do these lessons, obviously with a virtual PT though, I'll also be able to see you <laughs> and what technique you're using. Breathe it through. But at the moment, I just want people moving as much as possible, keeping as fit and healthy as they possibly can while we're safe in our homes and letting the NHS and all the other amazing key workers do their jobs. And switch sides. Hoping this is my little bit to the effort. Doesn't feel like enough sometimes. Stretch it through. Keep breathing. A few more seconds. Almost there. A 
last stretch. So on this one, don't ever hold the elbow, hold above or below the elbow, pull in the arm, pull the body away and you feel the stretch in your shoulder. Last few seconds. And let that relax there. Roll your shoulders back and forward, guys. Well done, guys. I'm so glad you were able to join me this lunchtime. Hope to see some of you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for our next workout. And don't forget to bring your tins or whatever weights work for you. And I'll see you then. Bye, guys. Bye.